Hey guys, we are back with another video. Today we're gonna share with you our best and worst luxury purchases. Yeah, we've got some good ones and some bad ones too. And some bad ones, but not that many bad ones. We, which, I feel like with bags we're pretty good. Yeah. We're very careful when it comes to bags, but with shoes I have like, like five shoes. Here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's start. All right, so we're gonna start with the bags. Probably our favorite purchases. Yeah, so ever. my favorite purchase of, of all time, it's definitely the, the classic flat bag. The classic flat bag that I actually got recently. I got yeah. it in December. And since then, this is the only bag that I've been wearing. Well, yeah. everything. It matches everything. It's, it's just, I love the size of this. And I got it in lambskin because I don't like the caviar, only because it, it looks better. It, I feel like Shiny the caviar is, looks a bit matte. This is more shiny and yeah, I don't like the the caviar look. Yeah, in my opinion, I like the caviar in like maybe white, you know, or nude. Yeah, in white or nude. So it doesn't get dirty. But with For black, sure. I like uh, I like the lambskin. So it's shiny and you know I'm pr pretty careful with it. So it doesn't really have any scratches. But you're a bit paranoid. Claudia was walking on the on the stairs the other day and she <laughs> fell on her face. All she was worried about her Chanel bag. I was oh in Saints oh my, oh my bag! Oh my gosh! I wasn't she, like she that. Was literally like that. No, I fell on, on my face in Sainsbury's on the stairs and everyone, like there was like 30 people. And I'm like, my Chanel bag! Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit crazy, but this is my best. Well, my best is this one. This, Ooh, is, so this is like a different take on a classic because it's got these gold uh, kind and of And it's details. a little bit smaller as It's a little see. smaller, but this is like probably my favorite bag that I own. No, yeah. definitely my favorite bag that I own. It's really great. It's also, I think this is calf skin. It's a little bit more... Yeah, it's calf skin. It's a little bit more... Not as soft as Not as soft, yeah. Not as soft. But still shiny and very pretty. Mm. I just I just love this size. I love the gold. It's so different. I, I always get loads of compliments on it. And I really like the chain. As you can see, the chain is thinner than this one. Uh, is it? Yeah, look. Oh yeah, it's so small. It's much thinner than this one. So it's quiet. And the CC, it's kind of like a different uh, sort of design here as well. So yeah, this is like my favorite ever. Do you wear this in the day? Yeah. Okay. I wear this in the day, I wear this for like an evening, I wear this all the time. Yeah. It's like my baby. My next I want the white and nude and yeah. Or red. Yeah. But these are our favorite, favorite luxury bags. purchases um, ever. Should I do these shoes? Okay, so we've got some shoes that we got. Pretty hideous Okay, shoes. we can say a story before. We got these shoes at like an outlet mall and usually when you go to outlet malls you always buy stuff that you don't need yeah. you you just buy it to buy it and usually the stuff is kind of like old old stock. design old stock yeah like old season so we got these shoes um uh, let me just <laughs> grab them okay so these shoes are hideous um uh, they're, <laughs> they're from the same brand both of them are from ysl <laughs> I mean, yours are much worse. I'm, I'm sorry, but this looks like a horse. Horseshoes. They're both pointy. I mean, these are not too bad. These are not that bad. Mine are not that I bad. I would probably still wear them. The only problem is, uh, platform shoes are not in fashion right now. And I'm sure they will come back though. And they're just chunky for our skinny legs. Yeah. Uh, look how high the heel is. Basically, I think I wore them once. I wore them probably twice. Or maybe twice at maximum. Like, look at the, the um, base. Like, it's literally worn twice. As you can see, this is the shoe. What leather is this? It looks like a cow or something. A cow. <laughs> but, I don't know, I just feel like that's just a waste of... Waste of time. money because we never wear them. That's mm. the problem. Like, they're extremely high. They're... The, the, the point is a bit weird. And they're not even comfortable. Th these shoes are not even comfortable. Mine are quite And mine, point. because this is quite like big, my skinny legs, like it's kind of till here, so all this is just like floppy. Yeah. That was a big, big fail, these so, ones. I mean, I still have them in my closet. We got them when? Three years ago? <laughs> More. Five. No, I think Four. Three. three. Three and a half, mm. let's say. Anyway, hopefully they will back come back in style. <laughs> What else do we have? Oh, I have a pair of shoes that are my absolute favorite at the moment. And these 
are amazing. This is my best purchase ever. They're a bit dirty. Um, yeah, these are these are my the dreamy shoes. I've been wearing them so much. They're just whenever I wear them, I feel the crystal is missing. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem. <laughs> I saw it yesterday that one of the little crystals at the top is missing, as you can see here, which. It's not that big of a deal because you can't even see it, but I can probably go you and... Can you, they can repair it for They you. can repair it for me. Obviously, it's not ideal mm. for these shoes to be having crystals missing. I think it happened when I was traveling and I put them in a suitcase. Oh, yeah. You should put them in like a dust bag. They were in a dust bag, but I think, you know, sometimes... Um, but yeah, this is a damaged. statement shoe, isn't These that? are just... They're comfortable. They're sexy. There's the heel is like not too high, so they're really great. I just I just love them so much. They were, I really want the nude ones. That's how much I love it. I want the nude ones. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so this pair of shoes is probably my most worn. Same as mine. Heels. I'm not gonna show mine, but I own the same thing. And these are the Pigales 120. The Labutons. Labutons Pigale, and this is actually size 40 and a half. And I'm just, I'm usually 40 in every shoe, but obviously they come Mine more. are 39 and a half. What? But because mine are from like six years ago, different design. So these shoes, yeah, when are beat. Look at that. These are beat up. I've had them for like, what, five years, six years or something. Super long and I literally wear, we them, wear them every the time. single time. These are the shoes for we evening. wear for, for clubbing. These are, so, so basically it's a kind of a, like a, love and hate for some people because for they're some really, people they're very uncomfortable at the beginning they're very uncomfortable but for us they're very comfortable <laughs> for us they're comfortable maybe because we have our our feet are like go to a point and they're very narrow so they're yeah. not like you know like chunky or something yeah, we have <laughs> narrow feet but anyway also they are very uncomfortable at the beginning when you yeah, buy them are. especially but, this design the new design yeah like I have the nude ones and I don't wear them as much as these and the, the nude ones are not as comfortable as these yeah. because I wore these shoes hundred times and they're so soft already here that they're, but whenever I wear Claudia's shoes and I wear my shoes there is such a difference should I bring mine quickly to show the difference if you want I'm gonna quickly bring mine because mine are like so comfortable compared to mine this design mine are so comfortable Mine were the old design. Wait, let me bring it quickly. Okay, I brought mine. So this is what mine look like. Oh my gosh, they're so dirty inside. Ew! Ew, what's this that? This whole thing coming off. No, this is like broken. Like, my shoes, like, are beat up. I worn this, like, every time we go clubbing. So, look at the difference of the point. Um, I feel like they look the same. No, they're different. So one of them things that are different i've got this little thing here and this keeps your heel in mm. so you don't lose them but i don't think they make them they don't make this style anymore mm. it's a little bit different let's see if you can see the difference um maybe this this one i don't know if you can see it but there is a huge difference when you try them on um, but anyway those you, are our favorite. i feel like you have to be very patient with these because Unless it you, yes, you for have them. to wear them a lot for them to become comfortable. Yeah, and they're like super sexy shoes, you know. They're Red really bottom, sexy. much Black. of everything. You can wear them with jeans, with I don't know skirts, dresses. I wear them a lot. So yeah, these are the shoes. If we're talking about Labutons, there is one pair that I haven't worn in years, and I bought them. I bought them just because I had the nude nude color, <laughs> and those are the. I don't know what they're called, but I didn't wear them much. I have the nude ones, and I wore the nude ones a lot. Um, and I don't know, I got the black ones and I never wear them. They are so uncomfortable. They're so uncomfortable, they're too small for me. Why would you... But maybe they need time to stretch. They definitely need time, but last time I wore them out, I couldn't dance. I was like wobbling, my legs were going like this. I was walking crazy. I was like, never again I'm wearing these shoes. So... Yeah, these are of a, of a... And they're expensive as well. Really? They're really expensive. Are they more expensive than the Pigales? Yeah! The, usually with Labutons, all the platforms are more expensive. Like, I remember these are like 750 pounds. I wonder if they come back style. Because obviously now this kind of style is not very fashionable. 
Yeah. If you know what I mean. They're not very comfortable. Yeah, I don't like these at all. I've got another heels that I wore twice. And there are another YSL. Platform. Why do we have uh, a YSL? Platform? Okay, so we've got these shoes in nude and they used are to amazing. be our favorite shoes ever. They're the most comfortable shoes. The most comfortable. So I'm gonna say this, that they are the most comfortable shoes. But this is like a weird print. Like, I actually don't know what happened to these shoes. I think I only wear, like, they're so... What is that? Like, literally, I have no idea what happened. Oh my god, look like, at this um, thing here. So, because these are the most comfortable heels, I wore them for a night out, I think once or two, I think twice. And they literally look mash up. But the reason why I'm, I'm not really a fan of them anymore is because, I don't know, it's just... You don't wear them. I don't wear them, never. I never wear them. And I know that in Dubai, this is the shoe that literally everyone wears. This is the Dubai shoe. The Dubai mall If shoe. you know, you know. This is the Dubai shoe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I might wear them again, but probably not. Maybe for a night out. <laughs> so I can't wear this for a night out. Nobody I'll can die. see them, you know. But, yeah. Alright, I have one purchase that's one of my favorites. And those are my Prada sunglasses. Ooh, yeah. These are really good. I wear them, like, every day. Only because they're super comfortable. They're not heavy on them. And they're sleek as well. They're super sleek. They're not too thin, so mm. they actually protect kind of from the sun. They just, oh, I just love them. They're like the best sunglasses oh, they in my collection. Oh, so good. They're so comfortable. They're the best sunglasses ever. And they have them with the white um, strap across here, which yeah. I also like, but these are a bit more Do they classy. have them with nude strap as well or no? No, that's, that's Chanel. Chanel. Okay. So this is definitely my favorite purchase. Actually, I have another sunglasses, which obviously Claudia hates. I just thought I'm gonna show you quickly. I just wanna show you quickly because those sunglasses. I think you brought them because of because I said that I don't like them. Those sunglasses, whenever I go on holiday, I will not go on holiday without these sunglasses. I mean. <laughs> okay, these are very futuristic and different, but I love them, okay? I love this purple uh, mirror effect. Anyway. I really love them. I just thought I'm gonna show you quickly because those are like my favorite sunglasses ever. Okay, I'm gonna show you my other favorite bag that I've probably worn like also 100 times. And this is a nice kind of luxury designer but affordable. Yeah. So this is the Dolce Gabbana Sicily bag. And oh my gosh, this is literally my favorite bag. For summer, this is the bag I wear all the time. It's yeah. huge inside. Like Not that huge, but it's huge. It fits so much. It fits the camera, it fits phone, it fits everything. And it also has the straps so you can wear it cr cross It's border. a great, uh, like a first designer bag. Yeah, and and I feel like in the summer, you know, when, when you go for like beach clubs or something on holiday, like this is the kind of bag you don't mind, you know, just like throwing. Yeah, maybe you don't want to wear your Chanel. Like, yeah, this is the type of bag you don't mind making it dirty and stuff. And because it's got like a good, it's, it's like a caviar, right? Yeah, it's got a proper leather that that will like. never like get scratched or dirty and stuff. And I actually got the same in red because that's how much I love it. Yeah. So yeah. They have smaller sizes and bigger as well, so that's my That's a good best. One. I have a white one as well. This is my favorite purchase that I did so oh, far. Oh yeah. Uh, it's similar concept, similar size, but this fits also a lot. It's got so many compartments. I just feel like this is a great designer bag that's, you know, not too price, expensive. Not prices like Chanel or Dior. Yeah. This is like, okay. Uh, and it's white and I've been wearing it a lot. And they have uh, all different colors. They have also red, which I wanted to buy, but I yeah. decided to buy the They have nude. Red. If you're looking for an amazing nude bag with top handle, check these out because oh, yeah. they're amazing. And gray as I well. I think these are called Galleria. Is it yeah, ga Galleria? Um, I yeah. brought this to show you because this was one of my best purchases and I still wear it a lot, but I mean, look at this. It's the mini one. It's the mini baby of that. Like, how cute. I just... Can I have it? No. You know, my this... daughter will have it, okay? What do you mean your daughter? When, when... What if you're gonna have a song? Give me the bag! So anyway, this bag is so cute to, to wear like as the belt bag because it's got such a thin... Um, the problem is I don't think you can get these anymore. 
I just thought I'm gonna show you because I love this so much and this is the new version so yeah I have a bag that's probably my worst probably this is the worst bag what happened to it I ever bought <laughs> ever bought to be honest I bought one bag with, from Prada maybe two years ago and I sold it mm. uh, it was like a tote it, it was, was a like big a big tote. black it was kind of like the Givenchy size you know um, bag and I, I think was, it was a bit like for older women yeah I really hated it and so nowadays it's all about small bags so this bag went but I have still this <laughs> this is the Le Bouton clutch um, how many times did you wear that? <laughs> probably one but I remember this This actually matched the, the Pigalle so I stuff. have the I have the shoes here to show you it's exact same leather and color that's what sold me I was like oh my gosh I have these shoes I need this bag to go with it and it's so impractical nothing fits in here <laughs> look at that what oh the hell? like phone fits in here and maybe a lipstick and a, a few pads. no but why did it like this color what's this so I think this discolored from something being next to it maybe shoes you know when you have black something that's black leather I don't like do this that. the only thing that I like about this bag is the chain that's that's all I like but I wore this maybe once it was the biggest waste of my money and it wasn't even that cheap it was like 800 pounds what for this thing you could have had this silly bag Laura. worst purchase ever <laughs> ever take it easy okay I've got one bag that's I'm not that fan of yeah that was a bit of it I still wear it but because I didn't thought it through I just bought it because I'm like oh I need a nude bag so this is the Valentino, I don't know the name of it. Um, it's a bit of a... The thing, the thing about this bag is, you know, it looks good on pictures. So I sometimes wear it for pictures and stuff, but it's not really practical because the chain is super heavy. And also this, these studs here are so annoying when you wear it cross body. They kind of hurt you. Oh, let's see. Um, oh. Especially in summertime. And it's really heavy as well. Uh, yeah, but... Overweight. So th this is kind of like, you know, I wouldn't recommend this as your first, you know, designer bag. <laughs> I think mine was worse. I mean, like, look at that. Like, I never even wore. It. I mean, I wore that maybe once. The thing is, actually, I just got a new um, Rockstad Valentino heels. So I might probably wear this more because I've yeah. got the heels to match it. But it's not something that I grab most of the time. Mm. Oh, I have worst sunglasses that I ever bought. Oh God! <laughs> and these are the Dior. I don't know what you call them. I mean, actually, I look pretty good here when I look at it. But yeah, I haven't worn this in maybe five years. These are like not even our style. I haven't worn these in so long. I remember when they're this broken came out. here. Like both of these things are off. I mean, I remember when this came out. We were like super. I was so on it. I wasn't even fond of this from the very beginning. I just wanted to be stylish at the time. And <laughs> now I'm I'm just I never wore let me try. I, I never wear them. I mean, you know. Okay. They're a bit like you yeah, they, they make you sad. <laughs> <laughs> sad? I mean I don't know. I know that this wasn't my greatest purchase, so I thought I'll include um, it. How about we say another good one? Yeah. Because I have some a good shoes. one. I have some shoes. These shoes are some people's favorites and some people's worst purchases. Ever. True, I've heard the. And those are the Oran Hermes slippers. Yeah, those are my favorite purchase ever. Same. Both. So I've got the black ones and they look old. I have them in white and they look mash up and I have them in this kind of silky leather. Not silky. Uh, Shiny. Pa patent leather, whatever you call this. So these are the shoes that we wear mostly in summer. I mean, I know that people that have wider feet, it's not comfortable for them. No. Because these shoes are like very narrow. Very narrow. And for us, because our feet are like narrow and they go into a point, they're great. For me, they're loose. After a oh, while, I lose them sometimes. They're loose like this that literally I have to like walk slowly. And I got this recently and I just love this color. It goes so well with everything. But yeah, this is our favorite purchase ever. Mm. And I will continue to buy these in different colors. I want the red ones. 
I want to match pink them ones. on my red bag. I want pink for summer. Pink? Yeah. I'm into pink these days. <laughs> Who would have thought pink used to be my least favorite color? Oh, same. Pink and purple. Pink and purple, I'll be like, oh. Yeah. And now I'm all about pink life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got another pair of heels that are our favorite heels ever at the uh, moment. And these are the Valentino Studs Rock Studs. Are these called Rock Studs? Yeah. Basically, these shoes are the most comfortable shoes. Since I, I got these, I've been wearing them non stop. I've been wearing them literally every single time I go out because they're such a Pop, statement. Like, it's such a statement that you can like literally just wear a normal bodysuit and jeans and put these on yeah. and you look popping. Amazing. You look popping. I love them. Um, I got the same. I mean, image. I feel like maybe a few years ago we would never want this. I, you know what? I've always wanted this. Really? I've always liked this. I feel this. like they were a bit more of a mature style. It wasn't like us when we were like 20 years old. Yeah, we were more of a platform, right? Platform, bitchy. Like, yeah. the, like those Labutons. Like not. those Labutons. Like not this classy, you know, style. I love these so much. Yeah, we love them. They're such a, such a nice shoes. Yeah. Well, I have uh, another pair of um, fail, fail shoes to show you. I mean, when I saw them, I went online and I got them straight away. I actually really like this. They have, a, they made an impact on me. However, I wore them maybe twice. And because you got too small of a size. So me and Claudia have this problem. When we buy something, especially online, we don't like to return it. No. We feel like it's a bigger pain in the ass. We're like, mm. oh, well, am I gonna return this? And I need to wait now. Like, no, I don't. Like, we don't think of this. As, <laughs> like, I don't know why I didn't return these for a bigger size. I got these in 39 and a half, and those are the Giuseppe Zanotti and Rita Ora collaboration. As you can see, Rita Ora. Um, I really like these. To I be mean, honest. you know what? I like them to be there. On a display Be from the back, from the back, looking beautiful. But they're, they're like are they tight. comfortable? No, they're not comfortable. Like look at this heel. Mm. Like you could kill someone. With this. I mean, to be honest, I can buy them off you. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said you hate these. I mean, they're not as tall as these, but yeah, I just feel like I had to include them because I wore them like once and it was such a waste of money. Yeah. It was, uh, again, it was something like when I saw them come out, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to buy them. I bought them straight away and now I regret it. It's one yeah. of those things that you don't really think through. True. We didn't think, thought these through because it was just the design that I like. Yeah. So yeah, that was a bit of a fail. Okay, I've got one last pair of heels that I love. And these are the Stuart Weitzman Nudist. Are they called? You know this? I think. I mean, I don't know. Um, these are literally also the most comfortable shoes ever because the heel yeah. is not so high. We have these in black. With we have these in black. High heel. I have them in three colors. Yeah, you have them in three colors. In black, uh, rose gold, and kind of like a goldish gold color. color. Uh, but I have higher heel. Yeah, yeah. This is the small heel. Yeah, I have higher heel. So this is the small heel. These are perfect for summer, you know, with a little dress. Look how pretty they would look with this. Um, and they're so comfortable and so like minimal as you can see very thin uh strap here and you here. got this in la yeah i got this in la actually uh but yeah i love these these are one of my favorite shoes this is another favorite purchase best purchase ever and this is the balman blazer Jacket. we b actually i have my i have my brooch on it so this is both of ours favorite probably jacket right probably the best thing we ever bought it's such it a, goes with everything such a statement it makes classic, an outfit classic piece i feel like oh i just want to get the other colors like mm. the white one or the nude one yeah it's just oh i just love but i feel this. like the black one is the probably the first one the first to, to get. half yeah um or light if you don't really like black, depends. It's really perfect for like autumn, spring. Yeah, this is really one of those pieces that 
it's probably the best. Thought he would wear it every day. Best ever. Mm. There is only one thing about it, and it's the size. The sizing is a bad. The sizing is awful, only because this, this, this material is so stiff. Yeah. So we had to size up quite a bit, and now I had to tailor this twice, and it's still loose. Yeah. So it's a bit tricky, know. but we still love it. We <laughs> still love it, so it's still the best purchase ever. Um, um, anyway, I guess for us, when we buy stuff, we tend to buy more of a classic, like black and nude and white yeah. colors. We don't have anything colorful. I don't own, maybe I own like maybe two Maybe pairs. we own a few like colorful heels, but yeah, we tend much. to buy things that are, that will stay in fashion and that will, you know, stay in fashion, yeah, right. Like classic pieces, Those platforms. You know. <laughs> Those <laughs> one day platforms will be back, okay. But yeah. I don't think we have anything else um, that we should talk about. Yeah, I guess because we would be here all day. I, I have a lot of good shoes and a lot of bad shoes. Yeah, I guess that includes all of it because I don't have that many bad ones. I do. But I have a lot of good ones, so... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. And let us know maybe in the comments what's your favorite luxury purchases that you've ever and bought. And worse. And worse, yeah. Best and worse. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.